Hello everyone, welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We are Tom and Melissa, and we're really happy that you've decided to join us at the table today. We are going to make a wonderful summer side dish. We're going to make cucumber salad. This is a very, very simple recipe with very few ingredients and probably you have everything you need already in your house. So let's talk about what you're going to need to make cucumber salad. To make the dressing or marinade, you're going to need two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You're going to need one cup of white granulated sugar and one 16 ounce bottle of great value zesty Italian dressing and marinade. Now, let me tell you that I don't think <laughs> that it's extremely important to use great value. But I'm gonna tell you the story of where this recipe came from in just a few minutes. And the lady who gave me this recipe was just insistent that they use great value. I have tried it with Kraft. I can't tell the difference. It tastes the same to me. But I'm making it with great value today because that's what she told me to use. So that's our marinade, and I'm going to go ahead and make it before we finish the rest of the recipe because that this needs time to kind of let the sugar dissolve. So into a jar, we're putting two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one cup of white sugar, and an entire bottle, 16-ounce bottle, of Ita zesty Italian dressing. Now, if you don't have a jar with a tight fitting lid that you can do this in, that's perfectly fine. Just do it in a bowl, take a whisk and whisk it up. But I happen to have a jar here and it just makes it a little easier to be able to throw it in a jar and shake it. So that's what I'm doing. If you think ahead about making this salad, it's really best if you'll make this dressing ahead of time, make it the day before, the night before, and let it sit in your refrigerator overnight. It just helps that sugar to dissolve and those flavors to marry. And it, it just has a real, a better, I don't know, a deeper flavor, I, I feel like. So if you have time, just put it together a few hours ahead of time or the day before. You could even do this up to a week ahead of time. There's nothing that's going to go bad in this dressing. So just put it all in a jar, shake it up, put it in your refrigerator and leave it until you're ready to make your salad. Okay, so there's our dressing. Now, what's in the salad as far as vegetables? Well, you're going to need an onion and I've already cut half of this one and it's already in our bowl. You're going to need four cucumbers. I've already done three of them. I saved one to do with you. So three cucumbers peeled and sliced, and you're going to need one carrot that you're going to grate or chop. If you have a food processor and you would rather chop it in the food processor, that's fine, but I'm just going to grate ours. So here's all you do. You take your one onion, cut it in half, and take that half, and cut it in half, then cut it into thin slices. You just want those to be fairly thin because you don't want somebody just to get a big hunk of onion in their salad. So just a small slice. And when you get down to the end and it doesn't want to slice anymore, eh, be done with it. It's fine. The rest of it can go to the compost pile. So we're just gonna take our onion and we're just going to kind of break it up into our bowl with our cucumbers, onion, and carrots. All right, so our onions are in. So next we'll take care of our cucumber. Of course, we need to cut the ends off and peel it. If you've peeled a cucumber before, you know that when you peel a cucumber, underneath there can be streaks of green. 
And I feel like that green underneath is really bitter. You can see this right here. Does that show up, Melissa? It does. I take that off. I just hit it with one more little swipe because I feel like that green part is really, really bitter. And nobody likes that. So peel your cucumber, then look it over good. If there's any green on it, just go back around, take that off. See here, can you see that? Yes. Look how green that is. So I'm just gonna take that off. You just don't want that green on there. Then get this out of the way. We'll throw that in the compost pile. Then I'm just gonna take my cucumber and slice it up. You don't want huge slices, real thick slices, but you know, you don't want them teeny tiny. Now, I like medium sized cucumbers for this. I really don't care for huge cucumbers because I feel like they get really tough and kind of bitter tasting. So I picked out four kind of medium sized cucumbers for this dressing. Then we're going to use one carrot and I'm just going to grate it on my little box grater. You already peeled it, right? I have washed it and peeled it, cut the ends off of it. And you can decide how much of the carrot you want in there. The recipe called for one carrot. Let me tell you about this recipe. So there was a restaurant in Olive Hill, Kentucky called Smoky Valley Truck Stop. And it truly was a truck stop. It was where 18 wheelers would pull in, the, the drivers would pull in and they could get gas and they could park there. There was a huge parking lot and you know they, they could rest or whatever, they could park overnight. But this truck stop also had a wonderful restaurant. I mean, the food was just, you talk about greasy diner food, but it was wonderful. We love going there to eat. The only bad part about it was it truly was smoky because they allowed smoking inside the restaurant. But we really did enjoy the food there. So they had this cucumber salad and I absolutely loved it. Every time we went, I ordered it. Well, we went one time and we had this really nice waitress and I said to her, I know what's in this. I know it's carrots and onions and cucumbers. I just don't know what the dressing is. Could you tell me how to make the marinade, the dressing? And she said, oh, I'd be in trouble if I told you. And I said, I understand that, don't worry, no problem. I don't want you to get in trouble, so please don't, don't tell me if that's gonna make a problem for you. So we finished our meal, she left. When she brought our bill to our table, she laid the bill down in front of me and under the bill was a little slip of paper that had this recipe on it. And she said, you didn't see me give this to you. <laughs> so then I had the recipe. I had no clue that it was so easy. Just a jar of zesty Italian dressing and marinade, some sugar, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. But it is really good. And it's great for summer because it's so refreshing. There's no cooking. All you have to do is chop things up, stir together some marinade, and pour on the dressing. That's all you do. I will tell you that we feel like this is better if it's made ahead. If you make it the day before and let it sit in your refrigerator overnight, it really does soak in that marinade and it just, the, the vegetables just pick up that flavor and it's really, really delicious. It's not necessary to do that. We have made it, stirred it together and you know, had it for dinner an hour later. So you don't have to make it ahead, but I'm telling you, it is really good if you give it time to soak up that marinade. And this will last in your refrigerator for days and days and days. So if you're making it for company that's coming or for a cookout you're having, you don't have to wait until the last minute to have this ready, which is really nice. If you have people coming over, it's nice to be able to have things ready ahead of time so at the last minute you're not making the dishes. So this is a great one to have. Also, 
This does not have any mayonnaise or anything like that in it that's going to spoil. So this would be great to take to a picnic or a family reunion or a cookout. It's really easy to do. So I hope you try it. And when you do, think about the Smoky Valley truck stop. By the way, it has gone out of business. Um, at one time, it was featured on Guy Fieri's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. They did a segment on his show about the Smoky Valley truck stop. So that's pretty special too, um, knowing that this recipe came from a restaurant that was on his show. All right, so I'm gonna actually get a small bowl, Melissa, just to taste this out of. Grab one of these. Now, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and taste this since we're doing this segment but normally I would not eat it right now. I would wait several hours and have it later after it soaks in this marinade, but it's still going to be delicious. It won't matter. All right, do you want a bite, babe? That's okay, I'll have it later. Okay. When I'm having a whole I, meal. I didn't figure you'd want it now because it'll drip on you. You wanna make sure you get a bite of the onion and the cucumber together. Mm. This is a great time of the year to get cucumbers. These came from the farmer's market just today, so. That's right. You know, Melissa and I used to always raise a garden when our kids were home. We raised a garden and canned and froze everything. But it's just the two of us now, and we really don't need that much. So if we raised a garden, we would have way more than we needed. So instead, we just support our local farmers and we go to farmer's market and get what we need. The neat thing about that is because we live in a really small town, we know <laughs> pretty much everybody who's selling things at the farmer's market. So, you know, we go buy things from our friends and neighbors. Last week, we bought cabbage from one of my former students. So that's really neat, you know, if you've got a local farmer's market, support them. They're working hard and, and they've got their fruits and vegetables for sale, go support them. And this is the time of year to buy things like onions and cucumbers and carrots. They're plentiful right now and for a good price, so go get them. Mm. You know, that little bit of apple cider vinegar really makes this good. The sugar offsets the acidity of it, but you can taste that little bite of vinegar in there. It's really delicious. All right, thank you for watching our video. This is an easy one. You probably could make this today. Eat it this evening or have it for tomorrow. If you would, we would appreciate you going right below this video and clicking the thumbs up. That just says you liked our video. If you've not already, we sure would appreciate you clicking the subscribe button and the little notification bell beside of it and click the word all so that YouTube will notify you every time we put up a new video. And we would appreciate you clicking the share button and sharing our video to your own social media. That way more people see our videos. Also, I just want to remind you that in every one of our videos, Melissa goes right below the video in that description box where you see the title. If you'll click there, it will expand and she has the written recipe for all of our videos in each one of them. So if you want this recipe, it's right below the video in the description box. Just click where you see the title, it will expand and you'll find it there. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it and remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.